Chances are, if you're watching this YouTube channel, you're probably thinking about relocating to the Treasure Valley. Now, if you are not a subscriber of our channel, I would highly recommend in subscribing. That way you can participate in our community surveys. I recently put out a community survey asking people what they wanted to see. And the number one pick multiple times has been people asking for house tours at certain price points in different cities. So I'm going to answer those requests today and I'm going to do nine houses in nine different cities at $600,000. Now, the average price point in the in Ada County for the entire city with new construction and resale is $551,000. It's 540 for resale, 577 for new construction. We are in the summer of 2024. So if this is you know in the future, don't hold me accountable to those numbers because things are going up right now. The average sales price year over year is up 5.9%. Again, I kept telling everyone, that in the winter of 2023, heading into 2024, we were at the bottom of the market. And that's exactly what we're seeing now. And the, the prices just keep going up and up and up. So I do not see a crash coming. We have way too low of inventory to see that happening. So I would recommend is if you're on the fence or you're even trying to time the market perfectly, reach out to our team and let's devise a plan to put you in the best position possible to get you the best deal out there. And when I take you through all of these cities, it's literally going to be every city, Middleton, CUNA, Star, Eagle, Meridian, Nampa, Caldwell, all nine core cities, including Boise. And I'm going to pull up a house at $600,000 and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you get for that house at $600,000. Now, this is going to include taxes, square footage, lot size, year built, what the community is like, and all of the things. So I have my timer over here. It's set to one minute. Each time I hit a house, it's going to go 59 seconds. And once I hit the minute, we're moving on to the next one, okay? So get out your pen, get out your paper. And like I said, you guys can reach out to us. We can do this with you guys and show you guys what's available. The other cool thing I'm going to show you guys is when I'm pulling up these houses, something that we can see that no one else can see, no one in the public, is we have a tab called coming soon. So we just helped clients buy a house and we saw it in the coming soon tab before it ever hit the market. So when that house hit the market, we were able to take action quickly. Some houses take a little bit of time to sell right now. Some houses still sell in, on the first weekend with multiple offers. Yes, that market still exists, but it, it's always about condition, price, and location. Those are the three core things. And this was a house that was well over a million dollars. Now I've had some comments in the comment box, people saying, you know, we're, we, we're not buying a million dollar house. You know, we're, we're not buyers in your guys's price range. We help everybody at every price range. It doesn't matter. Don't ever feel like you can't reach out to our team. We are Boise's number one relocation team. And we've helped over a thousand families, 1000 families relocate. So we would love to assist you in all of your needs, whether it's equestrian, you know, acreage property, condo, townhouse, single family, duplex, 1031 exchange. We have the bases covered with all of your real estate needs. All you have to do is reach out and give us a call. But without further ado, I'm going to pull up my screen, walk you guys through these houses, start the clock. We're about to get into this. All right, so I have the map pulled up right now. Now, if you guys remember in some of the past videos, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of the Boise market. Now, we call it the Treasure Valley. So right here is the main city that most people are looking into, which is Boise. 99.9% .9 of our clientele never buy in Boise. It's typically not their cup of tea. Uh, there are some outskirts parts of Boise that people really love and even some downtown parts that are really nice, but most people are looking for the suburb lifestyle or even out in the, you know, country land. So people like acreage, horse properties, and Boise, you know, for the most part, doesn't really have that to offer. There are some spots, but they usually like to be out here in the surrounding areas. So when you come in here and land at the airport, you're usually landing right around here, and then you're heading out this way. So we're going to start here in Middleton and work our way around the clock. So we got Middleton, Star, Meridian, which is broken up into three segments. You have Northern Meridian, Central Meridian and Southern Meridian. It butts up to Eagle and Boise. Uh, and I'll talk about all these areas as we get more into these houses. And then we have Eagle. It was really hard to find a house in Eagle. There was only two houses in Eagle at $600,000 right now. So I try to find a price point. And that's why I had to, the the median or the average price point in Boise is five, 550. 
and I had to go up to 600 to just to get a house in Eagle. So that's why I did that. You know, people are like, why aren't you doing the average? Well, Eagle didn't have a house in the average above three bedrooms. So anyways, uh, then we got this number five Boise area, which is all out here. Cuna, Nampa, Caldwell. Now you're probably asking yourself, where's number nine? I put a little sneaker in here and it's right up above the map here in Emmett. So number nine is going to be Emmett. So you might've also known of some other areas out here uh, a little bit further, Melba, um, Marsing, we got Fruitland, Payette up here, some other places in New Plymouth. We've had some clients buy out there, but we're going to stick to these core markets for right now. So let's get it. I'm going to start my timer, start the 60 seconds. If you guys see me looking over here, it's because I'm looking at my clock. Other than that, let's get into this. All right. So the first house we have is right here in Middleton. If you remember, it's the 11 o'clock on the, it's 11 o'clock on the clock. It's right here. I'm going to close this up and start my timer, 59 seconds. So this house is listed at 599. It's four beds three bath, 2,700 square feet. It says it's a three car garage. It was built in 2013. It's on 0 0.20 acres. So an acre is about 43,000 square feet. So 43, I think it's 43,500. Divide that by. So it's about an 8,700 square foot lot. It was built by West or no, it's in the West Highlands Ranch and it was built by Coleman Homes, which is a really nice builder. So let's cruise through these pictures really quick. Beautiful hardwood floors, three car garage, beautiful front landscaping. I really like the, you know, the open floor plan. It looks like it's a split. You got the Kyle fireplace, nice cabinetry, really good condition. The only thing I don't like if you see the vinyl countertops in there. This could be a, um, you know, I was going to say a CBH home, but it's not. It's a Coleman home. But you're looking at $599 in Middleton. And I believe there was only two houses in Middleton that were on the market. So I think this house, you know, for $599 out there in Middleton on a 10,000 or, an, you know, almost 10,000 square foot lot. You know, it's a pretty good deal, especially because if you notice, it's also a single level home. So a single level home, you are going to pay a premium. So this house price per square foot is 217. It's this, I think it's the second lowest price point in the market for price per square foot, 2,700 square feet. But here's the thing. Like I said, it's a single level home. So if you were on a two-story home, it'd probably be about on $200 a square feet, a square foot. And look at these taxes. $2,974 a year. And that's with homestead exemption. So let's move on to house number two. House number two is in Star, Idaho. I'm going to show you guys on the map really quick. If you guys didn't remember, Star, Idaho is right here next to Middleton, right down state. And I'm going as fast as I can. Remember, one minute isn't a lot of time. So this house is at $599. It's four beds, two and a half bath, two stories, 2,400 square feet. It says it's got three car garage, but it's probably two with an extra bay. Uh, it's on 0 0.190 acres. So once again, it's the same size lot, six to 9,999 square feet. And it's in Heron River, which I think is a phenomenal development. Star is absolutely blowing up. It's priced at $247 a square foot. And the taxes are $2,395 a year. Now, the one thing I didn't mention in the last house, but this one does have an HOA, which is $400 quarterly. Let me back up to the previous one and see if I had an HOA. It does. It has an HOA, which is $202 per quarter as well. So with this community, Heron Lakes is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's talk about this house really quick. It's a two-level home. It looks like it's main floor living with some bonuses upstairs. Beautiful hardwood floors. It's got some carpet in there, dining space. That's the primary suite, big walk-in closet. Uh, photography is, you know, it's okay. I think this house, you know, is a great value, especially in that community. 
Let's keep cruising through these homes. I've only got one minute per house. I do not want to not hold up to my end of the bargain. As you can see, I told you I had that extra bay in the garage, which it does, and they turned it into a gym, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, let's go through this community. Star is just getting its first Starbucks. So that'll tell you how Star is. It's one of, got one of my favorite restaurants in Star as well. Uh, if you guys give us a call, I'll share exactly what restaurant that is. But let's move into house number three because we are on a ticker here. And this house is actually in Meridian at $600,000. There was 12 houses in Meridian on the market. In Star and Middleton, there was like two houses on the market at $600,000. So in Meridian, you get a pretty good pick of the litter. Now this house is, and I'll show you guys on the map again really quick, exactly where Meridian is so you guys don't forget, but Meridian is right here in the Treasure Valley. It basically is this rectangle. Like I remember, told you before, it's North, Middle, and so South Meridian. So this is over here in the Northwest side of Meridian, which is a great location because right here off of 10 Mile in McMillan, you have Walmart. And right here on 10 Mile in Chinden, you have Costco. So this whole area out here is just absolutely exploding. Uh, so this house is four beds, three bath. It's a single level home with an upstairs bonus, 2,200 square feet. It's priced at 265 a square feet. It's in Oaks West subdivision. And the taxes on this house are $1,904 a year. Can you believe those taxes? And the association fees are $175 a quarter. Now you can see right here, I see a pool. I see pickleball courts, basketball courts, and park. You guys, that HOA fee. Now, someone called me today and look at these pictures. Beautiful yard. You can see that they're just building up this community. Amazing backyard. Tons of entertaining space. I think this is a beautiful home. Now, someone called me today and they were talking about the HOA fees. And I just said, look, our HOAs aren't like the HOA fees you might be used to or the HOAs that you're used to in, let's say, California. Ours are just to make sure that you don't have 50 broken down cars in your paint in your house, Pepto-Bismol pink. No, our HOAs are just there to make sure that we're following the rules and you know everything's in, or in orderly condition. So look at this house. Beautiful you know, finishes. It's really nice. Got a lot of main floor living. Once again, we're at six hundred thousand in Meridian. There was most, there was more options in Meridian at six hundred thousand than any other place in the Treasure Valley. So, if you're looking for a lot of options at the six hundred thousand range, this is it. Now, you can see at six hundred thousand, what have we noticed in every house so far? You have the, um, you know, tile insert showers. You know, that's not real tile floor in there. That's vinyl flooring. So you're getting entry level finishes because once again this is around the average price point for these markets so the higher you know price you start getting the higher quality of build you're going to get and these are still great quality homes it's just the finishes aren't everything you might be looking for if you're looking for that high quality finishes i mean look at these yards it's really nice yards you know when i look at this neighborhood to me this looks like um you know it just looks like it's a brand new community with not a lot of trees and a lot of vegetations, but I think the amenities are great. And I think over time it'll start to fill in. You can see they got a pond in there with a dock. I'm sure it's probably got some, you know, fish in there. You can go fishing, all the things, but let's move in to house number four. Once again, that was in Meridian at Oaks West. And if you're loving this location or you love that community, all you have to do is reach out and give us a call and we'll help you you know, dial in your search. And when our clients reach out to us, this is something we can go through. We can set up your search and show you exactly what's available. And this is what we do on our Zoom calls upon our first meeting. So right here, we're moving into Eagle, Idaho. Let's pull up on the map really quick and remind you exactly where Eagle is. Eagle, Idaho is right here. It's broken up into multiple, you know, sections. This right here, this section, east of Eagle Road, all the way out to the 55 here, and this little quad, or this square, I should say, floating feather down, 55, inside of 55, and, and up north of state is going to be only the places that you're going to probably really be able to find a house in the 600 range in Eagle that's above three bedroom. I just found this was this was only one of two houses available, and I thought it was a great deal. It's 599 
four beds, two and a half bath, two story home, 2,192 square feet. That is $273 a square foot. It's in Redstone Ranch community. And the taxes are at $2,278 a year. And it, there is an HOA at 77 bucks a month. So one thing I've noticed about every house we're showing you is every single one is in an HOA and that's very normal. Now look at this house. This house is, you know, beautifully decorated. It's got the, you know, nice wood floors. The kitchen looks kind of small to me, but once again, this is Eagle at 600,000 things. They're going to, you know, it's not going to be the most spacious home, but this was a newer home that was, you know, very affordable in my opinion. You got the gas stove, you got the full tile height backsplash, you got the pantry, uh, stainless steel appliances. I think this is a great deal. You got the fans in the bedroom, beautiful finishes. Once again, you have the or the shower insert, you got the tub, you got vinyl countertops. They're not, uh, you know, quartz or granite. So you do have the, you know, once again, like I was saying is if you want to upgrade your budget, you can upgrade your finishes. But I like this house. I would, I could definitely see myself living in this house. It's got a nice backyard. I don't know what that is all about. But for that price in Eagle, Idaho, can't complain. Now, the one thing I wanted to see really quick was the lot size. The lot size is 0 0.10. So it says it's a small lot, 5,900 square feet. So you are going to get a pretty small lot. And that's why that house felt pretty cramped. So moving into house number five, we're now rolling into Boise. And quite honestly, I could probably do a whole entire video on Boise exclusively because Boise is huge. And, you know, I don't want you to think that this is what Boise is all about. Now, this is South Boise. If I bring out the, the map, you'll see the Boise airport is right here. So this neighborhood is literally a little bit west of the airport. Now, this area out here has tons of new construction, a lot of CBH homes that are being built out here. You can get you know, this is a little bit older Boise. If you're thinking of downtown Boise in the bench in the North end, that's up here, nothing available at $600,000. You are going to have to spend a little bit more. So this is the Boise suburbs per se. So let's look at this four beds, three bath, 2,900 square feet, two car garage. It's 0 0.20 acres built in 1977 it has no HOA and the taxes on this are $2,099 a year. Once again, our taxes here are so incredibly low. Now look, you get three ducks with this house. If you want three ducks with your house, give me a like right now, because what that's going to do is it's going to share this video with everyone else that wants three ducks with the purchase of their home and they're moving here to the Treasure Valley. And if you watch this video and you bring up Jesse said we get three ducks with our purchase of a home. Hold me accountable to that. If you guys want three chickens, three ducks, we'll see if we can make that happen. Now, this is a, you know, a split level home, two car garage, you know, built in 1977. Oh, hold well, on, let's back that up. Just trying to look. It's got this, it looks like it might have been RV at one time. It's got the double gate. You could pull a boat in there. Looks like they're doing something with the yard. I don't know what's going on there, but it's got the split entry. You got some wrought iron balusters right here. You got the brick wood burning fireplace, normal height ceiling. So you can see the differences between the, the newer homes and the older homes. All the newer homes all have high ceilings, but this is what you'd get in a you know house for 600,000 in Boise with the space that this home is offering. You can see it's got some you know nice finishes. But it is a, you know, it's an original style home that does have some, a little bit of updating. It looks like they updated the paint. You got the linoleum countertops, you know, vinyl floors. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's probably not tile, but it could be. Once again, all original. You got this cool basement. This is what the people that buy these homes love. I do like that wood ceiling, another wood burning fireplace down in the basement. I think a lot of people that we work with, say that they want these homes and then they end up not wanting these homes. But look at this one. This one has a second kitchenette down in the basement. So this could be a multi-generational 
living situation. Or if you want to rent out the, the bottom floor to someone else, you could see they definitely have an in-law living in this house or someone renting that uh just needs a, some help. And look at this, has direct access into that pond. That's really cool. That yard is to die for. So this is just shows you the differences of what you get in different areas with different homes. And that's why we're doing this video. Look at this backyard. Who wouldn't want to live in this house? You know, I think with some sweat equity in this house, you can make this house amazing. But let's move in to house number six because we're trying to keep these under one minute per house. Now we're moving into CUNA. So let's bop this house out. So this is CUNA, just a reminder of where we're at because once again, we're just going in a circular clock. CUNA is right here to the southwest of Boise, directly south of Meridian. My sister, when she lived here, they lived out here in Melba. But let's close this up and see exactly what this house is going. We got 599, four beds, two and a half bath, two stories, 2,400 square feet. It says it's a three-car garage. Once again, it's probably double with a single behind it. It's 0.17 acres of a lot. It was built in 2022. It's a Hallmark home. I'm actually selling a Hallmark home right now. Uh, we have a listing that's a Hallmark home and it's HOA fees are $450 per year. So this is another thing you have to look at. It says association fees, 450 annually. So that's per year. It's 2498 taxes annually also. But you have to remember is if you're not filing homestead exemption, it's not going to give you that $125,000 per year drop on the value of your home. And when you do buy a home here, it'll ask you is if you do want to disclose the purchase that you bought the home for. Now that's something I would talk to you about in person. I don't want to talk about it on this video of exactly how you can handle that situation because there's pros and cons to disclosing and not disclosing. We can't share with you how much houses sell for, but because this is a non-disclosure state, but there's a pro and con to disclosing the value of what you paid for it when it comes to taxes. So, oops. I went too fast. Let's look at this house. Everybody was about to bite my head off because I was skipping the most beautiful house right here in CUNA. And I do think that this house is absolutely stunning. Look at those beautiful wood floors, that beautiful tile in the kitchen. You got the ceiling fan, ceiling fan in the primary, covered back patio with double ceiling fans, beautiful backyard with the you know vinyl fences. You're right on the green space. This is looks like a really quaint neighborhood. You got the porch out front, beautiful welcoming entryway with the office right there with the double French doors, gas fireplace, full tile fireplace with the, man, stainless steel kitchen. You got the double ovens, microwave up top. You know, look at this. This is $600,000. I know people are like, this is $600,000. But when I look at this house for $600,000, I think it's an amazing deal. Now, CUNA is you know, a little bit out there, a little bit further out there. It is, in my opinion, it's a lot windier. So you have to be able to be okay with the wind. And Rachel did a video on Valor, which is out in CUNA, which is one of the hottest communities in all of the Treasure Valley. But look at this primary suite. It's got all the finishes, beautiful you know, tile shower, glass door. This is something we didn't see in those other homes, quartz countertops, big walk-in closet. And then you got your, you know, secondary and third bedrooms, bonus space, you know, tile countertops. And then there's your oversized two-car garage. That is a nice, uh, with the extra bay, that's a nice wide garage. I didn't see that coming. What do you guys think of this house? Love to get your guys' comments on any of these houses as we move forward. It's got a big side, wide, wide side yard and then grass backyard. Man. Once again, sometimes I sometimes these houses just amaze me when I see these on, on here. And I love looking at these houses with you guys. Look at those sunsets. And that's so beautiful. Look at that subdivision. What subdivision did that say that was in? Subdivision is Casador. So we've actually sold a couple of houses in there. It's a really nice community. If you guys want to talk, reach out to us and talk about moving into Casador, especially with this house. I don't know how long it's going to be on the market. It's already it's only been on the market for 30 days, which you might seem sounds like a long time, but 30 days right now, 60 days is pretty average. Let's move in to our seventh home, which is actually in Nampa. Let's bring up the map really quick, zip in, show you guys exactly where Nampa is. Remember we're moving in clock rotation. 
So we had Boise, Meridian, Huna, Nampa. Boom, right there. So this house is 589,000, four beds, 2.5 bath, two stories, 3,064 square feet. It's the first 3,000 square foot home that we've seen. Three car garage. And Nampa is actually, if I bring the map up really quick, Nampa is broken down into some, you know, some segments as well. So you have Nampa downtown over here. Then you have Nampa, which is uh, over here by I-84, which is where the Costco and the hospitals at and whatnot. Then you have the Lake Lola area out here. So Nampa actually is a pretty big city with a lot of different varieties of living. So depending on what you're looking for, this is why you need to reach out to us. And it, while you're watching this, if you if there's something that we're not showing you that you would love to see, comment down in the comment box. We get lots of requests for videos and I love doing these types of videos. This is why I'm doing it is for you guys. And Rachel asked me if I would do it because she's like, you know, so many people requested you to do these videos. So here I am. So that house is 3,064 square feet. It's another three car garage that looks like a two, but it's probably got that extra bay inside. It was built in 05, 0.17 acre lot. It's in Dallinwood subdivision. It's $195 a square foot. It's the cheapest price per square foot home that we've seen. Usually the bigger the house, the cheaper the price per square foot. Quarterly HOA dues is 140 bucks. And the taxes on this one is $3,055. Now let's look at this house. Whoa. Look at that tile floor. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the tile on the main floor. The reason why is because, you know, living in Arizona, everything's tile down there. It's not bad. It's really easy to clean, but up here with it being, you know, wet for, you know, a couple months a year, I'm not a huge fan. You get that floor wet, it gets really slick. And it's also got the, the, you know, the sunken living room, not a huge fan of that. I like one floor. I don't like the transitionals. It's got a big giant island. Look at that one, two, three, four, five, six, six chairs that we can see there. I'm sure there's more, but beautiful wood cabinetry, stainless steel appliances, big, that looks like a sub-zero fridge, double ovens. I mean, for a resale home, I think this house is beautiful. I love that, you know, Venetian style office there. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that dark purple paint or the light purple. We just sold a house in Nampa that actually had purple paint. So it must've been a trend out there during this time. You got the, you got the travertine tiled bathroom. Once again, this is very Mediterranean look. I like that triangular bath. That's pretty cool. Walk-in closet. Big old bonus upstairs. Another bonus room, double vanities. You got the pillars in the backyard, nice green lush grass. You got the sitting area at the corner of the yard. That's really cool with the probably gas fireplace, I'm assuming. Maybe wood, it's, or it could be gas and wood burning. It's definitely got some flames coming out of it, that's for sure. But once again, that's in Nampa. And that's what you get for $600,000 out there. Now, all of these cities have new construction and all of these cities have resale. So once again, reach out to our team. We'll walk you through these for whatever your budget is, whether it's $400,000 or $4 million or even $40 million. I'm just joking. I don't even know what somebody would buy out here for that price. Um, Caldwell. Let's move into Caldwell here. Caldwell, people get confused with McCall. The way that I always remember the difference between Caldwell and McCall is I always think Caldwell starts with a C, closer starts with a C, so Caldwell is closer. So that's the way I, I always remember. And it's right east of Nampa. So a lot of times you'll see houses in Nampa that'll have a Caldwell address, you know, or vice versa. So you see Caldwell is up here where it says Caldwell and you see where it says Nampa down here, but the house looks like it's closer to Nampa. Well, the dividing line is somewhere in there and they kind of cross over, interweave. Uh, and that's just what happens. So this one is 599, 900, four beds, three bath, two stories, 3,250 square feet three car wide garage it's modern this house is in cedar crossing price per square foot is 184 and this house was built in 2021 now if i click on the history of this home i'm going to see if it's a former cbh home and lo and behold see where it says cbh this house was actually uh, uh built by cbh which is corey barton homes now they're one of the entry style builders. So when I saw that price and at 184 a foot, I thought the price was, you know, relatively low. And that's probably why uh, is because it's a CBH home. But 
A lot of people that buy those homes absolutely love them. We have multiple friends that have bought them. They've made tons of money when buying and reselling them. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. They just don't put a lot into the communities as far as like, you know, the trees and all the things. They're just very, you know, good communities to buy like a, a starter home in there. Or if you're just looking to, you know, get into something at the entry level price point, this is $3,111 in taxes. Annual association fees are $440 annually. Not only like one or two of the CBH communities have pools. So most of the CBH communities do not have pools and they have different tiers of communities. But we like when we sell CBH homes, they are when we do the inspections on these things, they're always so nice. The dealing with them, they're great to deal with. They're they make buying and selling real estate very easy. But this house has the modern elevations. What do you guys think of those? modern, the modern look to that house. It's on a cul-de-sac. I think that's really nice. I love cul-de-sac living. You got the green space and the park out behind you. You know, it's got a trampoline in the backyard. Now, a lot of people leave their trampolines. So if you want a trampoline, we can definitely negotiate that in. The one thing I don't like about this, seeing it off the, off the bat is like all that carpet on the main floor. I do not understand why people leave carpet on the main floors out here but it's neither here nor there. That's my own preference. You got the built-ins in there, a nice little wet bar. It's got the, this is a pretty nice kitchen. You got the quartz countertop, stainless steel appliances. This is definitely a, a gas uh, stove. This is definitely an upgraded CBH home because you usually don't see the gas stoves in the CBHs. I've done those videos before and you guys have all said like, no, you definitely have to have uh, gas stoves in the houses, which I agree. I think every house should have gas. Every house should have uh, soft closed cabinets. This is a nice office, nice high ceilings there. It looks like I could be wrong. I don't have my tape measure on me, but that's probably seven feet, eight feet on the, on the, is that the upper floor? Oh no. Now we're heading upstairs. So yeah, this is, it looks like eight floor ceilings on both levels of this home. I was wrong there. I definitely need high ceilings. Oh no, that's high. Cause that ceiling fan is, um, like an 18 inch ceiling fan and you can see it's above the rim there. So cute kids room. You got that peach color. You got the linoleum countertops, vinyl floors. It looks like maybe that is hardwood or a laminate. It's a nice looking bathroom for that price point. Once again, you got the insert shower, glass sliders, you got the tub, it's a nice big tub. Once again, this is a $600,000 house, 3,000 square feet. It's got the doggy door. If you notice, like this one doesn't have the overhang in the back, you know, very entry level priced home for the size, beautiful corner lot. It's got the gardens. I love this. You got this pad out here, probably could put a hot tub on there or a gazebo, whatever you're feeling like. But look at that. See, that's what I was saying when they don't have a lot of vegetation in these communities. And you can see this is all out in, you know, the farmland. And they're just building like crazy out here. These areas are just going to explode in value in the future. So let's move into our ninth and final home, which is in Emmett, Idaho. Someone put a comment in the box asking for um, houses and horse properties. So once again, this is way up north, north of Middleton. Uh, this house says it's uh, the listing was canceled, but it's actually back on the market I just saw. But it's two beds, one bath, single level home. It's 720 square feet. Now you're like, man, how is this thing 600,000 bucks? Well, it's 19.33 acres. So you're basically paying for the land. It's $833 a square foot. You know, I was just helping a client yesterday look at five acre lots in Eagle, Idaho. And the cheapest one we could find was 1.6 million. And you know, the houses weren't that great. The taxes on this house are $760 a year on almost 20 acres. So this house probably isn't going to be anything, you know, to, you know, it's not going to be anything like we've seen, but look at this house. It has, you know, the outbuildings, all the space. If you're looking to buy a house with land, you know, this house definitely needs some TLC. You get the wood stove, you know, it's just dated. Nothing you can't fix. Oh, wow. That's rough. So somebody said they wanted to see, you know, acreage property out in Emmett. 
you got the cows. This is what you're getting for that price. Now, obviously, you could uh, look for something with sm smaller property and you know maybe a better house. It was just this was the only house that was available at six hundred thousand dollars in Emmett. That there is our tour of the Treasure Valley of what six hundred thousand dollars gets you in every single city in the Treasure Valley. Now, if you saw something on there that you love. Well, you can always reach out and give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, and we'll gladly help you go and see that home or even discuss maybe possibly purchasing it. If you didn't see what you liked, you can always feel free to drop a comment or reach out to us and we'll bring up a map tour of exactly what you're looking to spend or keep your budget under and we'll show you the available homes throughout all of the Treasure Valley. Obviously, every single city and every single area lends different things for what your lifestyle is all about whether it's outdoor recreation, whether schools are very important to you. The community safety is very, very big here in Idaho. And obviously our freedom here is first and foremost. So I really appreciate you guys coming on this tour with me. Rachel will be back next week. And until next time, as she would say, be blessed.